And I'm very pleased because now we have Nikki Wire from Manic Street Preachers. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, the last time you were on later, I think you were a bit poorly or something. Well, what happened there? I actually woke up the morning that we were supposed to do it for the first ever time and picked up the phone and nearly dislocated my shoulder. Just by picking up the phone? I did, yeah. It wasn't of course, like no the, one believed me. It wasn't like the incredible shrinking man. Have you seen that we picked up the yeah. phones that big? <laughs> it wasn't like that at all. It was just the two man who gave me up out of bed and I went, oh, like that. And you see, and that's why... And you I, lot were trying to wheel me in in an ambulance to get me off. I did, anything. But that's why, it's very important, if there's a musician asleep, I didn't want to wake him up, because you can do serious injury like that. That's quite true. Uh, you should wake up naturally. I trust the man will never work in show business again. <laughs> or is he here this evening? I think, I think he rang me in my room earlier. Um, <laughs> now, uh, you all grew up together in um, South Wales, the yeah. band, and what was the first sort of things that you all like, thought, hey, this is the thing that we like? You know, like it's just the, the clash. That was it. You know, The first thing we ever liked together was seeing the clash doing What's My Name on an old punk anniversary thing. You know, We were too young to see it. And yeah. Just wanted to cross the class with Joy Division, really, the misery of Joy Division and the excitement of the class. Mm. Also, it, when you first came in, you said a lot of things in the music papers, a lot of pronouncements about things that you wanted to do and what, what you know. Did any of them come true, do you think? I don't know, really. There's, I don't know. We all, said, got, we all got completely messed up. I suppose that came true. You said you wanted to sell 26 million <laughs> copies of your album and then split up. Well, that didn't come true, did it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> what was the difference, do you think, with, with, you know, when Richie was still in the band and stuff like that? I don't know, I think the mad thing about it is bands can look back at their careers and, and sort of feel embarrassed about it yeah, and they can blame it on drugs and stuff, but I mean, we're all completely sober on there, that's a scary thing. <laughs> we're not drinking, there's no drugs, it's just like, we were, we kind of believed it at the time and, you know, a lot of that was to do with Richie because he took it to the edge. Mm. And you've, but, and, but the, uh, well, not the irony, the strange thing is that you've been more su successful since he's been missing, really, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, that's the sad irony of it. I would have loved to have Richie here tonight. I think he would have enjoyed it a lot, but just weren't to be. Yeah.